Greetings to all my black brothers and sisters all around the world. Really a joy and blessing to be here. I have to really hug myself because I feel good of what's been taking place in not just my life alone but in the life of those who have been who would have been listening to me and I know when I hug myself I'm hugging you because you're within me also because all things exist in the human imagination and it is only those who are vibrating at the level that I am vibrating I'll be able to connect because all is frequency and vibration that's why they say great minds think a lot alike sorry and they say small mind they discuss people but they say great mind think about ideas and so on and you know the ideas is what is creating our 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 our, our circumstances and so on and as black people it is high time for us to wake up take back our power and enjoy the benefit of being an heir uh, of your sonship and your inheritance with me saying that, you know, it just crossed my mind about the mischief, the prodigal, which I have to do a DVD and the prodigal because there was something when I was coming to my enlightenment that was keep coming to me all the time. That and first King Tree with um, Solomon, which I, I just opened that a while ago there when I was dealing with um, the mystery behind Haile Selassie. Okay? So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to speak to you concerning the birth, the deception. Now, if you take notice of um, Facebook and so on, you'll notice they always recommend for you to wish people happy birthday and so on because, you know, the matrix want to control your mind. They want to take a hold of your mind and they want to chop you in time. So basically, they want to keep you chopped in time. And so, as I would have always said that, it is said in the Bible that God created two great light, one to rule the day and one to rule the night. And if you do any thinking at all, you will realize that the moon doesn't rule the night, but the sun rule the day because every day there is a sunlight and there could never be a day without the sun. There could never ever be a day without the S-U-N. But there are nights without the moon, light. And this is my belief that the moon is a satellite that was put there to control the frequency of us upon earth so that we can only vibrate at a certain level but i have vibrate beyond that level to come into my christ self because when you come into christ self, you break time and come into eternity when you come into a place where you become one with the wind you are breaking time you have gone beyond the brain okay so with that being said, and I would have had experience, had experience where I would have gone places 24 hours before it ever happened, and I would have gone back in time. Not, not uh, I think not even um, longer than a month ago, I would have gone back in time around 15 something, where I had my troops with me, and the white general have had his troops with, with him, and he had. A mixture because he had black blacks that was with him too. But I had I had strictly blacks that was with me. And we had to put an end to a certain dispute with my men pointing gun at theirs and, and they pointing at us and we had a a, 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 a a fist fight and I I knock him out with one with one hand and there's where um Certain thing was revealed to me concerning Mayweather and 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 um, Conor McGregor. Where he doing kickboxing and so on because he he actually that general actually used kickboxing in me and still I take him out with one hand. Okay, but I don't want to go into that right now at this moment, right? To, just to show, I just want to show you something concerning time, and to show you we're just going through cycles. You understand of life and how. It take you in a nine month cycle to give birth as a human being and they want you to celebrate birthday like a donkey or like a jackass because I think a jackass will take 12 months or a horse something that ride its back something that operates more like a slave 
Because a jackass is probably more like a slave. You put a lot of a, a board in on top of, of, of it. So you, you, it takes nine months for you to burn and they have you celebrating birthday every 12 months. It's all proof stupidity. And to see even the scriptures tell you about observance of time, how you mustn't go about observing time and so on and all of that. Showing you you mustn't get, you mustn't get chopped in time. And so my brother and my sisters, to, for you to be celebrating birthday and believing that that was when you were born, it is you actually dirting your eternal self. It is you actually going against the Melchizedek order. And it's so shameful to see people call themselves pastors and prophets and apostles that be bowing under this, under this birth, the foolishness and say they're celebrating birthday. Yet they're going to tell you they have eternal life and eternal meaning never beginning, never had an end. And when you when you check when you when you check um, Hebrews chapter seven, where he speak about Melchizedek and Abraham meeting Melchizedek, and Abraham is a state of consciousness, and Melchizedek is the highest state of consciousness that you can come to come into your eternal self, come into your, your true divinity. And I did a, a video on that and Melchizedek because someone would have asked me to do a, a video on it also. And to see Abraham represent the father of faith. And faith is believing in your own self and believing in the power inside of you. And taking that which is in the unseen and bringing it into, into the seen. And people actually going against that and causing the divinity by celebrating birthday. So it is showing you those who are celebrating birthdays, they do not even have a... a a proper understanding of their true existence. They do not have a proper understanding of who they are. And that's why we have to be so mindful and so discerning. So we must always operate under discernment. Because when you see Facebook and social media and so on, or when you see the masses, Ah, uh, when you see the matrix is handing it out to you and telling you to go and, and wish this person this and wish this person that. It is grounding you in time. That's why we are people, we who are conscious, we have to always live in the presence. We have to always live in the now. That's why we have to do, know that there's nothing new under the sun. And all those, all, all the deception techniques that have been used upon, upon, upon people to control their mind, to control the inner power that is within them. So they wouldn't discover that inner power. It been used before. And the mystic, who is the living book, will take the written book and show you these things. And things that you would have never thought about before, they will bring it to your mind. So, you, you, can't, you can't be born in a nine month cycle and you're celebrating in a 12 month cycle. Don't be that stupid. Don't be that gullible. So, with that being said, my brothers and my sisters, I want to thank you very much for your patience with me and for listening to me. And I hope what I have said, it means something to you. And if it means something to you, feel free to share it. Feel free to comment, feel free to like, or you can feel free to dislike also. I always encourage people to follow their intuition because you will only express your true self. You know, um, in saying this, let me just say this also. Sometimes when you see people commenting and they're coming over in a negative way and calling people name, they're just expressing their mentality. So you need no other argument because they're just showing their true colors. Okay, so with that being said, I want to thank you very much. I want to thank you. I want to ask you also to feel free to comment or to suggest of me to speak on a topic that maybe you would like me to speak on. But always follow your intuition. And so far, those persons have asked me to speak on certain things. I know that they have been inspired to ask me to speak on those things. And I really enjoy speaking on them. So with all of that being said, I just want to say, remember, before, before I say out, remember Matthew 6, 22. If your eye be single, your whole body will be filled 
of light. With that being said, I just want to say peace. I'm out.